so hey guys welcome to my another video in the previous video of the PPSSPP settings I showed you how to get the 60 FPS in any Android device but actually the settings was for uh, some high-end uh, device uh, I was using the Poco F1 and now today I'm gonna show you the um, best PPSSPP settings for the low-end Android device or uh, if you have a low-end Android device and you uh, need you want that 60 fps speed uh, so you have to apply these settings now you can show the settings here i set the backend to opengl mode buffered rendering and i turned off the frame skipping and and i set the alternative speed in 60 600 percent yeah and uh, now uh, after that uh, here the settings are left as it is and i set the rendering resolution to 2x uh, display resolution to auto uh, same as rendering resolution um, and other uh, hardware transform software scanning vertex vertex cache are checked only the lazy, uh, lazy texture caching is unchecked um, and then the um, anisotropic filtering is set to 2x uh, and here uh, other settings are left kind of as it is and uh, now here um, you can turn on the fps counter to see that how better is running your game and in the audio tab I um, changed uh, nothing something it is uh, like uh, no effect on the performance and now in the tools in the developer tools you have to set the cpu code to dynamic jit git and other settings are left as it is and now in the system tab uh, enable the fast memory on thread and timing method to fast and uh, here you have to change the emulator's PSP CPU clock speed to 60%. Um, remember that uh, if you change the clock speed to less uh, like 30%, 40%, 50%, then it will uh, it will uh, increase the emulation speed but um, by skipping the frame numbers. And uh, if you set it to higher values like 90%, 100%, it means that it, uh, it will um, increase the frames but will decrease the emulation speed so I here set it to 60% that is best for every games and other settings are left as it is here I enabled uh, cheats now we have to try some games here I have many games among them I selected some of my games first game is Justice League Heroes let's play it is a game by DC and here uh, you can see the FPS counter on top right it is now on 100% emulation speed you can see the percentage 99.6 100% now the game is starting and yeah guys sorry for the video format I recorded with a the uh, vertical format i know uh, uh, the usual video format is not available here because i have some issues with recording so yeah this is a vertical video mm, so i'm sorry for that so let now let's move to the game and here is a scene playing on almost 60 fps and now the game has started as i'm playing as superman and here are the civilians they are okay here we go and here you can see that the game is running at full 100% emulation speed uh, fps is around 30 29 it's okay and let's move into another game and that is uh, kingdom hearts 
now at the starting the game is running at almost 60 percent here you can see i am fast forwarding the game uh, that uh, helps to manage the time mm, and uh, here you can see when i press the fast forward button the speed goes to almost 200 percent or 300 percent um, if you fast forward the frames will be skipped and here is a cutscene playing yeah this is almost uh, 60 fps this is running on 60 fps the cutscene there are plenty of cutscene in the game so i have to skip them all mm, uh, that i can show you the real gameplay here you can see uh, the cutscenes are all uh, running at 60 fps obviously this is a and uh yeah here yeah, i have to mention that the all games are um very heavy and uh, like um uh, and uh, like uh, they are more than a G 1 gb or like uh, 1.5 gigahertz so let's move into the game the game has started and here you can see the fps counter is 100 percent demolition speed 30 31 fps mm, no frame drops at all the game is running very smoothly and no lag very impressive performance mm, and yeah yeah there's no frame drops at all the cutscenes are also rendering in 60 fps and also the graphics are very good you can see that it is on 2x psp and no like sharp effects or hazy effects like low resolution the graphics are also good the performance is good all over the performance is very impressive i rate i will rate uh, the performance and graphics uh, to 9 in the scale of 10 so okay so now let's try another game it is driver 76 it is uh, like a game like uh, grand theft auto uh, uh, most probably a open world game driver 76 and uh, many of my viewers suggested me to do a video uh, of driver 76 because they face a uh, uh, broken effects or uh, lags in driver 76 game of PPSSPP but after these settings here you can see there is no broken effects at all here I am fast forwarding the game but also you can see the cutscene is running at 60 fps I mean uh, not 60 fps actually but 100% demolition speed no lag almost uh, 30 fps at all uh, Here you can see when I'm fast forwarding the FPS is going down so you don't have to fast forward the game. Okay so the game has been started and you can see I'm driving the car and there is no shattering or lag at all um yeah this is a, a device of the snapdragon uh, 415 redmi 5a uh, that is kind of low end device so here the settings i showed you apply them and if some uh, something happens uh, tell me in the comment section thank you and stay tuned for another video don't forget to like and subscribe